Hey guys, Ozzy my Pokemon here, and today I am giving you guys a battle. This is from the Pokemon Battles Discord. This is their monthly tournament. This is the tournament from the month of June, and I'm not used to OU, so please forgive me. I'm not that good at OU because um, I don't play it as much. But still, I decided I'd enter the tournament since I don't usually do that. And um, yeah, so basically, I lead off with Landorus because it's a good lead, you know, choice scarf Landorus. Um, so I'm going to go over knockoff because I want to get rid of this thing's Assault Vest because Assault Vest on that's going to be really annoying and it means uh, my Tornadius Therian, Tornadius, I said it again, Tornadius Therian uh, is going to be able to put in work with that Hurricane later in the battle. So um, I knock it off, he knocks off my Choice Scarf, it's not a big deal, uh, but it, is, it's, it kind of sucks, so it's not that big a deal. I'm going to go for the U-turn here, get the crit, didn't really matter that much uh, as the course of the battle goes on, and I'm going to go into Heatran. Uh, obviously because he can't really hit me even though I know that Tangrots carry Earthquake but for some reason like he could have gone for Earthquake there and taken me out but he probably predicted the switch but I went straight for the Magma Storm here and uh, I wanted to get some damage on whatever was coming in even if he stayed in uh, I know that uh, I would have taken him out so I didn't really have to worry about the Earthquake because I'm faster than him I just had to worry about the miss but anyway here he brings in Garchomp and um Obviously, this thing's way faster than me, even if it's unvested, probably way faster than me. So I'm obviously forced to switch out here. I don't want to lose my Heatran. Uh, it's quite a powerful Pokemon in my team. And I'm going to go to Landorus, uh, so I don't have to take damage from the Earthquake. And if he predicts that and goes for another move, I do get the Intimidate. So, just going to go for the Earthquake. Uh, obviously, it doesn't hit me because I'm a Flying-type. And now uh, he's going to uh, switch out here. So on this Landorus, I have Knock-Off, Earthquake, U-Turn, and Hidden Power Ice. Uh, so it's a pretty good move. So I'm going to go for the U-turn because uh, Earthquake, because he doesn't have any resist for Earthquake on his team except for this Tangra. This is the only thing he has to switch into Earthquake. So I'm just freely going for it right now uh, until I get rid of this. And because he knocked off my Choice Scarf, I can just go for the U-turn here and get some really decent damage off. And that is really good for me. So this Tangra is kind of the only problem for my team. Once I get through this, I can basically do whatever I want. So I'm going to send out my... Tornado Styrian as he goes for the Earthquake as I predicted him for him to predict me to go on a Heatran. So, uh, I'm going to go, I believe, either for the U-Turn or the Hurricane here. Or the Knockoff. No, I go for the U-Turn. I don't know why I'd go for the Knockoff. I go for the U-Turn and uh, it doesn't do much because uh, he's four times resist, obviously. So, I'm going to switch into my Landorus because I've got Earthquake. It's going to do damage. And, uh... I'm going to get the Intimidate, but he has leftovers here, and that's revealed. So I know that he is most likely Spideff uh, Heatran, which doesn't threaten my team at all, which is very good for me, as uh, I can go for a free Earthquake again here. I'm not sure if I go for U-Turn Earthquake, but I go for one of them. I don't have my Choice Scarf anymore, so I don't outspeed this Garchomp, which really sucks. And because I am not invested in attack that much, I believe I've got four or something. Uh, because I've got to have those defense investments. This doesn't even KO the Garchomp. So that's quite unfortunate. But it doesn't matter. I can just switch. It's my Clefable. Max defense Clefable. I love using Clefable. You guys probably see me use it in the last OU battle. I, I love using Clefable. Clefable so fun. Uh, unfortunately, I don't like playing OU. But when you go to find battles, oh, the only tier people want to play is OU. Which kind of sucks. So I'm going to go for the Stealth Rock here. Because obviously I know he's going to go Scizor. And it's probably the best play I can do. Uh, it's really annoying me how people aren't expecting the Fire Blast on Clefable. I mean, I don't know. Like, you got to be careful of that. Because I've played so many battles where people don't expect it. And, like, if I had it, like, you got to be gotta be careful. Uh, I'm just getting sick of people staying in on Clefable when they're four times weak to fire. You know, I might just run Fire Blast on my Clefable so I can catch out people to do it. Because... Fire Blast used to be always on Clefable, now just because it's like less common, people aren't doing it. So um, anyway, I bring in my Landorus, Intimidate is going to make his attacks do nothing as he U-turns out, which is uh, the play right there, as he goes into his Greninja, which is a threat to my team, uh, if it's Ash Greninja. It is a threat, because I don't really have that many squishings for it, but just kidding, I actually have the Gastrodon, but he predicts that, because this guy is a really smart player. Uh, who predicts my switch into Gastrodon. Gastrodon is actually the GOAT. He is insane in this battle. You guys will see. But, um, yeah, he predicts that, which is a really good play on his part. Uh, Tangrowth is still kind of walling my whole team. But like I said, once I get rid of that, I should be able uh, to beat his whole team. So I am going to switch into my Landorus because I predict 
his Earthquake because I know he's trying to catch my Heatran. You need to give up because I'm not switching Heatran on this thing because I know he has Earthquake and that'll definitely take me out because I'm not defensive. I am max speed, I believe. So he's going to bring in his Heatran as I go for the U-turn. I was so close to clicking Earthquake right here because I knew he was going to switch. I was so close to doing it. Imagine if I did that. It would have been insane. doesn't really matter though. Uh, so I'm going to go into my Heatran, and I know his Spidef, so he's not running Earth Power. And even if it was, it's not going to do, it's not going to one-hit KO me, I believe, because he's max HP, max Spidef. But I know my Earth Power is not going to kill, so he's going to protect, and it doesn't really matter. It wouldn't have, Earth Power wouldn't have killed anyway uh, from where he's at now. I guess he just wanted some health back. So he's going to protect to try and get as much health as possible. And... Maybe he thought I was fearing that he would have Earth Power, but I know he's set because I know the Spidef Heatran set. I know he can't touch me, so I'm just going to go for my own Earth Power right here and do some pretty decent damage. Look at that. Brings him down to around 10%. As he's going to go for the Stealth Rock, which uh, doesn't really threaten my team that much. It does annoy my Tornadus, but apart from that, I can just defog him away. Plus, I got Regenerator, so I get all the health back uh, from Stealth Rocks anyway, so it's not that big a deal. I'm going to go for the Earth Power again. And I was really close to uh, clicking Magma Storm uh, on this because I knew he was going to switch. I don't think he'd really sack his heat train that easily. So I was it's actually really close to going for uh, the Magma Storm on this turn uh, right now because I knew he was going to switch uh, and it would have done. I think probably would have done more to Greninja. Maybe uh, actually no, no Earth Power was probably the best play right here because he went Greninja. Uh, but I figured, you know, after rocks and earth power, like, it's going to do a lot of damage to Greninja. Like, it's not going to KO, but it's going to put him in a range where he can only switch in two more times from the Cell Rock. So, I thought that was pretty good. And I'm going to go Gastrodon here. Gastrodon actually walls Greninja. Like, people don't understand, Gastrodon has a really good niche in this meta because he walls Greninja, a Tapu Koko, and he has a really good matchup against, uh, he has a good matchup against... Magiona, and that's why people run Earthquake on it, but I really, because it's Salt Vest Mag, but I really like using Earth Power, unfortunately, I like, I just, I can't see myself using Earthquake in the future, I use Earth Power, so, uh, here he's gonna go into Heatran, and I go for the Skull, and that is going to take out Heatran, that is the first KO for Gastrodon, Gastrodon is actually insane, like, he had to play around this Gastrodon so hard, and then he sends out Tangrowth here. Tangrowth is still a problem to my team. I need this thing to leave. Please go away. <laughs> like, if, if I get rid of this thing, I actually win. Like, there's nothing he can do after this. So I'm going to go into my Landorus. And uh, he actually makes a really nice play here. I think he gave up trying to predict for my Heatran around this point. Like, he just started to, you know, stop predicting as he goes for the Giga Drain. Look how much damage this does. It's a definite 2 hit KO. I'm like, nah, I don't like that. I, I don't want to die. I want to keep my Landorus around for a bit longer. So I'm gonna go Actually, wait, no. I go for the Hidden Power. I was completely expecting him to sack... Uh, ex I was expecting to sack my Landorus, but unfortunately, he goes for Earthquake, predicting Heatran. And uh, I'm going to go for the U-turn here. I thought Hidden Power Ice would do a lot more, considering, you know, 50 special defense. But apparently, it does less than U-turn, which is crazy. So I'm going to go Tornadus right here. I am going to take Stealth Rock damage, which is quite unfortunate, but uh, he's going to go for the Giga Drain, I believe, and that does a lot of damage. Like, I didn't expect it to do as much as it did. Like, it didn't do much, but that's still more than I thought it would do. So that's kind of annoying right there. Uh, so here, I believe he switches out, and I go for the Defog so I can get my Tornadus in more freely. So he's going to go into his Garchomp. He's probably expecting to sack it, uh, which is 100% fine. I'm going to Defog here, and I, I really thought... I'm, I'm thinking he's Choice Scarf here, so I really don't want to take a hit. So I believe I hard switch. I don't even go for U-turn. I believe. Yeah, I think so. Because I was really worried of the uh, possible Stone Edge. Even just a Dragon Claw or Outrage would have done damage to me. So I go Clefable as he goes for the Earthquake, predicting that, which is a very nice play on his part. Because uh, Clefable has been coming in on his uh, Garchomp. And of course, it's Clefable, so obviously I'm going to switch it in. Very against a Dragon. And, um, yeah, so my Clef Fable's looking good. It's going to live uh, another hit. So I think, I believe, I just go for uh, Moonblast right here. Because why wouldn't I? It's basically a no drawback play right here. And uh, I get rid of the Garchomp, which is another huge threat eliminated uh, for my team to come through and sweep. Clef Fable, of course, like I said, really love using it in the OU tier. Really good Mon. Uh, 
again, people really need to be wary of the fire blast because if you get caught out by that, like you can just lose. A sizzle gets like fire blast on Clefable. Nah, you you're gone. And uh, I'm gonna go for softball here because I knew I had speed, and he can't really do that much damage to me. He can do decent damage, but not that much. So it's it's pretty good. Goes for the Giga Drain here, and this does more than I expected, but it's still not much. I could, if I wanted to, I could probably soft boil, um, stall him, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, after these leftovers, I'm looking above 50%, which is of course really good. And I'm going to switch out because I would like to keep my Fable a bit more healthy and go into my Tornadoes. The Stealth Rocks are gone, so I really don't have to worry about uh, all that stuff. He goes for the knockoff here, and surprise, I am actually Rocky Helmet, so that's really cool. Uh, some nice uh, random item on that Tornado. So I'm going to go for the Hurricane. Luckily, I connect, and that's obviously going to take out the Tangrowth because I am Tornado Styrian, and he is 50 Special Defense or something along those lines. Uh, he's going to send out his uh, Greninja right now, and I'm, I'm kind of worried about the uh, about the Hydro Pump or Dark Pulse or Ice Beam, all going to kill. So I go into Gastrodon because I know I'll live all of them because I'm Spideff Gastrodon. As he goes for the Ice Beam, and as long as I don't get frozen, I'm looking fine here. I can take out the Greninja, and it's going to be all good because Gastrodon is actually insane. Like, you guys don't even know how good Gastrodon is. He is. He's so good. He just straight up counters uh, Greninja. So his highest uh, attack to hit me is uh, Extra Sensory, which is uh, kind of pretty funny. I don't know why he'd run Extra Sensory to get Toxapex, probably. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Uh, maybe I should try that out one time. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take him out with the Scold. And uh, he's going to forfeit here after he sends out his Sizzle, which is quite unfortunate because I wanted to get some more uh, action in this game. I wanted to use my Z-Move on... Heatran, which is his Fire MZ on Magna Storm. Uh, it's really good because what you do, I'll probably explain in another video, but basically you, you bring it in on someone that's weak to it, they'll switch to Landorus, and you just go for that Fire MZ on the switch, and it just take it always takes out Landorus, probably unless it's a Soul Fest. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this Wi Fi battle, make sure to leave a like. Uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to get it uploaded today, but turns out I did, which is really good. And, um, yeah, I will be streaming tonight. Make sure you catch that, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.